I said, praise the Lord. The Lord God Almighty is doing great things in this program. I'm Brokelly Best Davis, and I am a medical doctor. I will verify these various cases. Number one is um, Sister Mary of Home of France. She has been having halitosis for about six to seven years. Halitosis is, is bad breath, and it was because of dental caries. But I confirm that now it is gone. Let us testify. Yes, I'm Sister Mary Obama Frank from Nimbe, Obama Bree to be precise. I, have, I was having this severe tooth decay. It causes mouth although You can't even stay where I'm talking because you'll be like, oh God, your mouth is smell. So uh, yesterday I was totally healed from that. Now you can, I can shout, I can. I, I, I can perceive my mouth scenting. In fact, I'm happy. Praise the, the Lord. The Lord has given you fresh Thank breath. Thank you. Fresh. Full redemption. Amen. Praise the Lord. Our brother here is Favor Oladimeji. He's been suffering from transient amnesia. That is, he's, been, he's not been able to recall things. And um, that started last year, June. But last night, the Lord touched him, and you will hear his testimony. Praise the Lord. My name is Favor Oladimeji Bolawa. I have been having these issues that when I read, Getting to the exam hall, all I've read, I'll be like brainstorming, and the ability to recall what I've read will be so difficult for me. And I've been praying, and this issue has been with me since last day, June. I've been praying to God that, oh God, this issue of brain recall, Lord, give me a perfect healing. And yesterday, when the man of God said, wherever you have issues, if you lay your hand, I lay my hand on my head, and I, with faith I prayed. And immediately the man of God said, "Amen." What I could not do, I read the team of the program, and I tried to recall it seven times, and I did it. I said, "May the name of the Lord be exalted in done. Jesus' it name." My second testimony permanent. was about my admission, my work, and everything. I've been praying to God for a long time. The Lord, and my admission, I've been awaiting. But I just want to say, God, thank you. I've been offered admission, chemical engineering, food. So may the Lord be exalted in Jesus' name. Hold on. You read this. You read this. And then wait, wait. you repeat it. You read this. And then I'll take it away. And you'll let me know. So read it. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. And they overcame him by the word of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. The next testimony. Praise the Lord. The Lord is doing wonders. In fact, even before the program, great things happened. This is Sister Edith Wenya. 16th of March, we went out for publicity, and she slumped and passed out. And then the son placed something, the, the anvil on her, and she revived. This is our pastor, and they are here to share the testimony. Praise the Lord. I say, praise the Lord. My name is Brother Adekoju Akindele. I'm the pastor of Sister Edith Wenya. Our district is a Obuna district. 
in the Okolobri group, Bahrain. Praise the Lord. Uh, by the grace of God, on the 16th of this month, Wednesday, we gather together in our church to, to go out for publicity. After we have prayed, then I share the ambil to everybody. But along the line, there is a kind of a bad weather, so we, 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 start, uh, we try to uh, stop to go out. Along the line, she came to me and told me that uh, uh, the way my body is doing me, I don't like it. I say, eh, eh. She said, yes, yeah. so he left me. After that, she went to the backside in the front of the church. Then there's a small bench there. She sat on that bench. When she sat on that bench, the next thing that I heard was that, Pastor, come, come and pray for me. Come, come and pray for me. Then from there, I just ran after her. Before I reached there, from the bench, she slumped. And I carry her. As I carry her, I started uh, praying for her. Then I call other brethren to come along and pray for her. So we try to revive her. No way. Then I told somebody to go and call her husband. And they call, they call him. And he came. And he carried her. And he started praying also, trying to revive her. So all of us, we are praying. As we were praying, brethren, the people have started crying and they are disturbing us. Then I told them, that I told brethren, let us carry her enter house. As we carry her enter house, we started praying, praying. As I was praying, something told me that I should open my eyes. As I opened my eyes, I saw this little boy. He started removing his uh, flyer from his neck. I was washing him. I was washing him. Then he moved closer to where our mother lay down. And she, he started using this flyer to rub her shoulder. He started using it to rub her shoulder. When I discovered like that, I said, Lord, honor the faith of this little boy and bring our mother back to life. Honor the faith of this little boy and bring our mother back to life. Brethren, it's not even rich, uh, three seconds. Before I know, he, she made a noise. As she made that noise, she opened her eyes. As she opened her eye, she opened her mouth. And as she opened her mouth, she said, what happened to me? Why am I like this? Everybody was looking at her. Praise the Lord. And let's I, of life. Praise the Lord. Then I now told her that, sister, it is well with you. That is how God revived her back to life. Praise the Lord. Put your hands together for the Lord. Even a child can exercise faith. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise. I believe it is all right. I think it's, it's all right. I thank God because I'm alive standing in front of you, glorifying the name of the Lord. When I heard the testimony of my son, and I asked him, why did you do that? He said, he has heard that someone else have robbed or used flyer to toss a dead body and the person revived. And he believed that when he does that, I will come back to life. And God honors his prayer. Thank God I'm alive. Glorify the name of the Lord. Amen. Praise the Amen. Lord. Put your hands together for the Lord. God bless you. The Lord will do that as well for anybody in that situation. The next testimony. Praise the Lord. This is Sister Wells Isioma, who has been having, who has been having arthritis of the pelvic joint. You will hear a testimony of how God has healed her. Praise the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. My name is Welt Isioma. I'm from Delta State. I attend Christian Evangelical Faith Assembly. 
have been having West Pen for the past six months. As I came here this evening with the expectation to be healed, as soon as the man of God finished praying, I started doing what I could not do. I can bend down, I can stand, I can bend, I can stand, I can bend, and I can stand. I can't do it before. When I was walking, I would be doing like this. But now I am okay, walking. You fine. Can bend I now. give God praise in bend, Jesus' name. Bend. Let the us second see one is I've been having malaria and typhoid. I've been treating and treating. And I've been having headache to leave this side to this side, just transfer it from one place to another. But as soon as the man of God finished praying, it disappeared. Praise the Lord. Sister, you can bend, bend. Let us see. Okay, God bless you. God bless you. Enjoy your blessing. Amen. We'll go online now for some testimonies. The Lord is doing great things online as well. We have great things happening online. The power of God touching a lot of people. And this one is all the way from Lagos. This is the story of a woman who was involved in an accident in 2019. And since then, she could not walk without crutches. But then, coming up on your screen now, after the prayers of the man of God, again, there is still something about her final amen. Look at those crutches li lifted up. She can walk. She could not walk for three good years. Put but your God, hands together. The Lord has done it for her. And from Lagos, we'll take you to a testimony that we have from the GS Facebook, where Obadi Allison wrote, The Lord healed me of faithful boy and terrible waste pain. And on YouTube, we have this one coming from Endless Fury, who says that he had a toothache. But after the prayer of the man of God, the feeling, the pain, everything disappeared. And now he feels peace in his tooth. Let's take you to Southeast Nigeria. Enugu Live. Southeast Nigeria. We'll take you live to Enugu State. Praise the Lord. By His grace, my name is Bro Emmanuel Ani. I am from Amich District, Enugu, Nigeria. I want to testify the goodness of the Lord in my life during the last concluded crusade. Before then, I had a sore in my leg that has lasted for more than two years. This sore refused to go, but after the prayer of the man of God during the program, on the fifth day of the program, after the prayer of the man of God, I was believing God that something will happen. I went home. During the following day, I wanted to check for the wound. Lo and behold, the wound was nowhere to be found again. Praise the Lord. It's dried by the power Bro, of Emmanuel, God. can you show the audience the, the leg, the saw that has disappeared? You can see it, brethren. You can see the wound that has been healed after the prayer of the man of God. Praise the Lord. Your hands together for the Lord. If you have your testimony, please come out and share it with us. We are still expecting you don't go back without sharing your testimony. He has given us victory. Victory, victory. Check up yourself. God is working. God is working. You come and share your testimony. Amen. The next testimony. Praise the Lord. I present to you Bro Akoto, um, Akoto in Tabai. He has been having swollen leg with a very deep injury 
that the Lord God Almighty healed yesterday and that he won't dry it up. Right foot. We hear from him now. Praise the Lord. I gave testimony on testify to the glory of God in my life. Yes. God done, good, done, done a very good thing in my life. Oh. I know if speak the language, I know if speak English, if I don't even use my language speaking, but I will break up many hours here. <laughs> okay. Go ahead. I just day one day, I, I just wake up, I see wood with my leg. I know now the wood they enter my leg. I don't battle for three months now. The leg, I don't even stand for 30 minutes. But yesterday as I come, as, as I come, Pastor say, make I raise my, my hand for where the whole day, then raise the hand up. As I put down for the prayer, after the prayer, I, I begin to feel relief. Praise the Lord. My leg is healed right now. The, the, the rise is gone. Then the surface is coming up small, small. Praise the Lord. Put your hands together for the Lord. You see? Match that leg, match it, match it on the ground very well. The devil is in trouble. The devil is in trouble. If you still have testimonies, just come out, come out. We will entertain your testimony. Just come to the left-hand side here and share your testimony. You'll be giving right. Okay, so the next testimony. Praise the Lord. Where I present to you Sister Vivian Osain. Sister Vivian Osain has been having 15 years history of direct Ingula Ainia, the left-hand side. But at the Taraba Global Crusade, the Lord healed her miraculously. She had been scheduled for surgery, but God healed her miraculously, and she's here to testify. Praise the living God! Live in Viviana Sain. Yes, don't me. Me bele buboza. Me bolo no nisi me uliki ene bo. Me me. E bande ene bo. Mama mi pio bo. Bala pio me. Me wobe ni kom na boza di no yo duye. Isi bela onde ni bo. Hotel me. Fifteen years. Me bele. I knew an abode, a pocket of the men. Bensin, I am my yin. Or diameter, my mother and Mosime. Or diameter, a demi SM, metamosito, or Bensin, no will operation of Bozam. May I see Beria Sokitibe? May I see one mamma? Sin a combine. A pamna, what ya must what is the value of man? What a man, eh? He bombed a boss to me. What man, eh? Otoya Tadere, who can on a dala? Me cruise me traba. Bella Tembele or Sunani or Itishani or is the Benizibe. Vienna. You won't miss a burning, so I gain one. Bella Bamene, Edward Berio Buffalo Mekuni. To a bower, Tietini, you see no Bolo, what you are Tietini. Everybody should be seated. Mary Obama, be seated, to a bomb, be seated, be seated. Bella said, like Bam of Villa Nile. Be seated. I can see the boy and I may Ozume. Bamna. Alale me wane bane Age na abos me golo bene Ade na ba deri nyine ne Memino mone 
is in the dead Nambo Zime. Oh, Vianis, but we look at Nambo. Mama Manegba. Mama Man, my. May I bonso? Yes, care. Who bonso? Oh, Zeke. Osama, Mikmilan was so. Mikmilan was a. Oh, Ziba, Mavalaqua. This morning in English. Let's share the testimony in English. Though. Praise the Lord. She had a knee in her body, and the sickness was disturbing her. She discovered that the thing just came suddenly upon her. She, she started telling herself that when God created her, God did not create her with her knee. So she was praying, and when she heard of this crusade, she came, and when the man of God was praying, suddenly the thing disappeared. She felt that something left her body. So she started praising God. It's gone. And it's gone. he came to gone testify. Gone forever. <laughs> Thrown into the depths of the sea. We have uh, testimonies online. So we are going to entertain some testimonies online. Amen. Amen. Testimonies from online, please. We have great things happening online. Let's hear this testimony. This testifier from YouTube, from Mommy Mercy Benson, says that um, this testimony he could not bend his back. And, um, but uh, as a man of God was praying tonight, after the final amen, he checked up, and lo and behold, all the pains were gone. We have a live from Lagos. The picture you're about to see on your screen is a picture of a man named Taiwo. He's an old member who had left Christ, according to him. He came back to Christ because of this global crusade. And at the crusade venue, the Lord touched him and healed him of leg pain and set him free. There he is. He's now able to walk he has spent a lot of money, but now he is completely healed after the prayer of the man of God. And we have this one from James. James has written and he says that he had a scalp wound that has worried him for a very long time. Upon visiting the doctor, the doctor said it was impossible to remove it and it may just be there forever. But... As the man of God prayed, and he mentioned that all swellings be removed. According to this writing, at the final amen, he just discovered that the swelling was not there anymore. He is completely healed. Praise the Lord. Betty Cadiz wrote this testimony all the way from Europe. Betty Cadiz said that the husband had been pulled down by cancer. But after the final amen of the man of God tonight, that cancer dried up. Praise your Lord. hands together. And this is coming from Sierra Leone. This person, Ali Success Barry, says that God has delivered her from the spirits of fear and from all bondages. She is fully redeemed. Praise the Lord. From Europe, we also have Justina. She wrote, I joined the crusade. As the man of God was praying, I was in labor. The doctors reported that there was blood disorder and other diagnosis. But as the man of God began to pray, safe delivery, freedom. Put your the hands together. Spirit. We shall follow up this testimony and bring you details. We cannot but continue to keep celebrating the redemption we are receiving everywhere, all over the globe tonight. Because this is coming from the GS Facebook page. I know Lua James wrote. He says that he's had this pain in his heart for quite a long time. But tonight, the God of full redemption touched her. And now, the pain in the heart, 
she felt the, uh, the, the place and the pain is no more there. Indeed, the Lord is doing great things. We now return to the state overseer. Praise the Lord. The next testimony. Praise the, the Lord. Testimony. Praise the Lord. I present Papa Ozege Goodluck. He had a fracture resulting from an, um, an accident. He, he fell into the a gutter and then he fractured his three ribs, left hand side, and then there was an extra confirmation of the fracture with resulting pain. But last night, God touched him. You will hear from him. Praise the Lord. My name is Brother Goodluck Ozege. I am one of the coordinators in Deeper Life Church, Amalata, under uh, Amalata Group of Districts. On the 30th of October, I was, after the service, I was going home from my district. And uh, as there is, well, as I reach, there is a particular gutter that a drainage that crossed the road between the, uh, to the entrance of my house. So as I was about to cross the gutter, I did not know that my leg had overstepped the, the, the bridge, that is the plank on top of the gutter. So I fell inside the gutter, and there was water inside the gutter. So I, when I came out of the gutter, I, feel, I felt pains all over by the left side of my ribs. So the pains were so severe, I could not bear it. I could not sleep. I, after three days, I went for S3 uh, to check myself. The S3 result showed that I had uh, three of my ribs had a, a fractured. So since that time, I've been suffering from the pains and uh, even with some treatment I took, but all to no avail. As our pastor was praying this evening, and he mentioned broken bones, all those uh, uh, broken bones be joined together, I felt strong, the bones were joined together, and I received my healing. I give God the glory in Jesus' name. You are free, free forever, full redemption. The next testimony. Keep on checking yourself as you see what the Lord has done. Praise the Lord. I present to you Brother Daniel Lindsay. He had an accident three days ago. A vehicle um, ran over his right foot and um, with great pains but tonight the Lord God Almighty has healed him. Hear from him please. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. I'm Yizidane by name. I'm from Yenegoagi John NDU group. I want to bless the name of the Lord for the healing, the, for what the Lord has done for me. The day before yesterday we were in the airport so I was about to control a motorbike so by, I don't know what happened, out of carelessness or what. I fell out of the motor on high speed. When I fell, I, I just scratched my leg, and the tire of the motor, that is the luxurious bus, mashed my leg, stepped on my leg. The lock just swollen, the ankle, everything. I was just feeling severe pain. The thing was paining me, the, the massage leg, due to no avail. I was supposed to sing with the choristers yesterday, but there's no way. Even some of my brethren, they can testify. Even today, I just put my faith that I must receive my miracle. I forced myself, they say, ah, but then, are you going to sing today? I say, I will sing. I say I will sing, and I put on my shoe with faith. I came here, and to God be the glory, doing the counseling. Where our Father the Lord say, after the prayer of the man of God, our Father, He says, just check yourself, and to God be the glory. The pain is no more. There, praise the Lord. You are healed. Praise the Lord.
Give me a shout of amen. The Lord has been wonderful tonight, and we need to rise up to praise the name of the Lord and thank him for his mercy, his goodness, his visitation, and thank God for our pastor that the Lord has used to set men free. Let's praise the name of the Lord. Let's worship the name of the Lord. Just say, God, thank you. Thank you for all that you have done for us. Thank you for keeping the weather for us. Not hot, not cold. Everything is so wonderful. Let's praise the name of the Lord. Let's thank God for our media men and, and those who are handling our electrical gadgets. Let's uh, praise the name of the Lord for them. Let's thank God for our video people. Let's thank God for our pastors. Let's thank God for our leaders who have contributed to the progress and to the success of today's program. Let's worship the name of the Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Give me a louder amen. amen. Our Father, we thank you very much. We praise your name. We worship you because of your faithfulness. Thank you, Lord, how you have blessed us today, right from the morning session and to this evening, how you brought us here and you have put joy to our faces. You have put happiness to our hearts. And we praise you and worship you. Receive all the glory in Jesus' name. Thank you for our pastor you have used. Thank you for strengthening him. Thank you for empowering him. Thank you for helping him. And we believe that tomorrow is going to be greater than today in Jesus' name. Father, we pray, O oh Lord, in heaven as every one of us be going to have our rests tonight. Father, I pray you will still continue to visit us in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father, because we know you have answered. In Jesus' name we pray.